hobbyists. Alrighty then. Hang on. That says Ventura, not the mask. Anyway, recently I bought a Tamiya Terrascorcher Riri. And as excited as I was, the daunting factor is that they do not supply window masks for when it's being painted. I am not sure if this is a cost-cutting exercise or if they like the idea of people panicking. Either way, in reality, I will need to make some. This guide will not only help with the Tamiya Terra Scorcher body, but also any other models where they have not been included. This could also be for redoing spray jobs, or if you have bought a third party body for your chassis, I hope that this will be of interest. As you can see, this is a polycarbonate body, so painting it would be from the inside for this type of shell, so no need to undercoat it, but it is worth noting that you may wish to aftercoat it, but I will go into this in more detail later on. The issue with painting this from the inside is masking the windows, as obviously where you don't spray does not have any colour. But the issue with windows is that they are very angular, and even with narrow types of Tamiya tape, it takes finesse to get the angles right, so a lot of models include these, but sadly this one didn't. So here's a trick on how to get them to fit easily and without a lot of faff, and this is no longer a daunting task. So step one is to cut the body to shape and then give it a good wash on the inside. I use eco-friendly washing up liquid as it gets the manufacturing grease out well. All you need is three items, a sharp knife, masking tape, top tip quality goes a long way, and a pen. I'm using a sharpie here so the camera can pick it up well, but a pencil will do fine. Step two is to get your masking tape and cut a piece that is just longer than the window. It doesn't matter too much about neatness at this stage and I'll let your OCD control this. Now, you may be wondering at this point, what the hell are you doing? You just said that you were painting this from the inside, but here you are putting tape on the outside. Don't worry, all will become apparent. What you are trying to do here is make sure that the tape is tucked in tight against what could only be described as window frames. The better the shape you can get at this point, the better the fit will be. Grab your pen or pencil and run it along the edge where the window hits the frame. If you let the shape of the plastic be a guide, this will help. But as you can see, even with the tape applied, the shape is easy to see and this will help you. When we are happy that the window has been drawn onto the tape, showing all the dimensions of the window, peel it off and lightly stick it to a surface that you can peel it off again and that you can also cut without damaging the surface underneath. These model mats are ideal. Scissors will not really help because of the stickiness and that will become problematic. This is why you need a sharp knife. All you want to try to do is run the blade around the line. Feel free to dispose any of the outside strips of tape as needed as what we are after is cutting out the shape to use for the window. This does not take long until you are left with the cutout. Now, do I have your attention as this is how this will work for you every time. The body was facing us and I created the template using the outside of the left side window. As luck would have it, this is the exact same shape as the inside of the right side window. And if you remember where we are painting the body is on the inside. So if I use the template that I created from the outside of the left side window and stick it to the inside of the right side window, I get a perfect fitting window mask every time. Now you may be thinking this is some kind of trickery or voodoo and believe me, Cthulhu had no hand in this. So I will speed up the process, but here is how you would create the mask for the inside of the left side window by using the outside of the right side window. Feel free to slow down this, like at the end of the credits of that computer game program with Jet from Gladiators, 
where you had to tape the credits and go through them on pause so you can see all the cheat codes. This method really does cut out all the nonsense of having to use small strips of Tamiya tape and trying to get them to match up without having gaps, especially when you have sausage fingers. Leave all the fancy masking for any intricate paint jobs rather than just blanks which are windows, as in this example. And as you can see, bosh, here we go, both the right and left window have now been window masked. The windscreen, or the front window, is the easiest to do, as these tend to be symmetrical, unlike the side windows, which are asymmetrical. Again, we measure a piece of tape to cover the full length of the window. This time, the frame is a little bit more subtle, so it's important to locate it by pressing the tape in. Again, mark where the frame is, using a pen, and then peel it off. Because the frame is not overly proud, and the fact that I am using a fat sharpie nib, the lines are a little wonky, but all I need to do is use a straight edge to help me trim this to the correct size for the window. Once this has been done, place it on the inside of the body. The angle can be a little bit awkward at times, but that proves my point. Imagine trying to do this with multiple strands of miniature tape. I know that if I did it that way, I would have to reset the days since last incident meter at my house. As promised, a fully window masked body. I do hope this gives you the confidence to try this for your builds and hopefully now you can crack on with any current projects. The body is now ready to be sprayed, which will consist of several light coats to build up the paint. After that, I will give it an after coat, which will be a lighter colour to make the paint pop. And then, after that, I will give it a spray in a darker colour, just to hide any grime from day to day running. Hopefully this guide will have helped. Wait, what? There's outtakes for this. Please like, comment, definitely subscribe, even hit that notification thingy so I can wake you up in the dead of night to tell you another video is going live. Anyway, that's your lot for now.